Good morning all to your weekly assembly delivered to you by Mind to be Kind, Commitments and your learning managers. This week's theme is e-safety and in particular Safer Internet Day which this year falls on Tuesday the 9th of February. During these current times the internet again demonstrates what a fantastic resource it is for the modern world. A great example of that is how effective online learning has proved to be during lockdown. The internet has single-handedly allowed all young people to continue to access an education whilst remaining safe at home. It is also proving valuable in keeping young people connected. However, as the internet continues to grow, it also creates more opportunity for those who wish to harm us. I'd like to focus in on social media and games. Screen time on both of these platforms has increased dramatically with young people being at home. However, when you create your account, you need to be aware of all the personal information you are putting out into the world. This information can be used in a number of ways that can be dangerous. It isn't just your information that can be harmful. The personal details of the people that you think you are talking to can be false and made into a way to make you think you're talking to somebody of your own age. All recognised social media platforms have security and privacy functions. So the best advice is to only ever accept requests of people you know and if you're unsure, use the block and report functions. Always ensure your privacy is set to the maximum to stop any unwanted people looking at your profile. When it comes to the stuff that you're posting, think before you share. The general rule to live by is if you're not comfortable in posting something that in 10 years time could embarrass you, don't do it. Everything that you post is held and still be accessed online by potential job employers. And believe me, people have lost jobs over things they have posted online as a teenager. When posting, also think if the picture did get into the wrong hands that can identify maybe your location near to your home or what school you go to, if so, don't post it. As well as social media, games are harder to manage and police. By accepting a request to play and chat with somebody online, that you don't know, you're allowing them to access lots of personal information that no matter how nice they may seem to start with, could be used against you. An example of this is cyberbullying. If you don't know them, do not accept them. A new app we have also become aware of is uh, the Face app. Now whilst you and your friends might like posting your faces on top of others, this face swap app poses huge risks to young people from potentially harmful people wishing to conceal their actual identity. It's important to be aware that this is out there, so regardless of whether someone may send you a picture, they could easily have adapted it to make them look a lot younger. You will continue to use the internet in a safe and effective way.
and the apps we have spoken about are brilliant ways in staying connected. As well as your family, friends and school, there are lots of ways to access support. There are several websites on the screen now that you and your family can access free of charge to better understand e-safety and if you have any concerns please use them. Some final hints and tips from me in regards to a lot of the information and potentially fake news that you may see online. Always question the source of where it's come from. Is it a fact or is it an opinion? Is something too good to be true? Maybe somebody's trying to sell something or influence you. Is it too good to be true? It often is. Finally, always talk through with your friends and family any issues or concerns. The school is always there for your support. Thank you and stay safe. Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Commitments Challenge, the last one for this half term. Now as you can see here, this challenge is to do with Safer Internet Day, which you'll have had lots of information about this week uh, within various lessons in school. What I'd like you to do is to create a poster using either the template on this slide or creating your own to promote Safer Internet. The winning designs will be used uh, to promote safer internet around school and they will also be on the computer screens and there'll be lots of rewards for those people who submit some fantastic entries. You can use this template or you can create your own. Questions you may want to include on this. Why are you looking at information online? Who wrote the information? Why was it written? You may want to create some fantastic images of what a more trustworthy internet could look like. You may also want to write your own pledge of what you could do to help create a more trustworthy and safe internet. As always, send your entries to challenge at beaconhillacademy.org.uk and once again, this will complete one of your learning that inspires commitment strands. So please get involved in this fantastic challenge guys and I look forward to seeing some brilliant entries from you all. Hello Year 7. It's been another fantastic week with online learning and lots of you have received lots of email. It's so well done. It's very important that you all keep to a routine when working from home, ensuring you take regular breaks in between learning. E-safety is very important and is a way of protecting yourself with online learning. So please pay attention to this assembly carefully and look at the, some of the hints and tips to make sure that you can keep yourself safe. Thank you. Stay safe.